what's up y'all welcome back to my channel this is very exciting so two things are happening well number one let's get this out the way i need your help you're gonna notice that when you get to this video the quality is gonna be a little weak the audio might be weak I i'm experimenting i'm very new to all of this video stuff for those who do not know i recently got a new laptop which means i can do all the video things i wasn't able to do before and i'm not all that knowledgeable about any of this so that doesn't just mean you know editing i can figure out that's easy for me i went to school kind of sorta for that but it's the equipment and you know wi-fi signal and trying to figure out do i need a new webcam do i need to get a an extender for my wi-fi so just watch the video and let me know what I can improve on or what I need to do, where I need to invest. I want all the help um, that I can get. So thank you in advance. The second thing we're doing is a reaction video. I've always wanted to do these. We're reacting to the Strangers chapter one trailer. This movie comes out in May. I'm gonna be real, I'm not all that excited about this movie. I've seen the first Strangers, I've seen the second one. I actually kind of like the second one mainly because I'm a pretty big Bailey Madison fan. Like I love what she does regardless. But the first one scared me. I've only seen it once and I don't need to see it again. Like that movie legitimately scared me and I love scary movies. And I, I think the second one, veered off a little too much kind of lost the plot a bit and, and the whole point of what made that first one scary it wasn't just you know um you know a chase movie you know bad guys chasing the good people it was the whole point of them being terrorized in their own home being stuck in their own home and you know the one place you're supposed to feel safe and you're caught vulnerable so i think the second one kind of missed that plot but i think had the movie been on its own and not even attached to the strangers i mean it's kind of hard for it not to be i think this would have been a, it would have been a bit different i think it would have been received differently but they've decided hey we're gonna reboot remake these movies and we're gonna give you three chapters we're gonna talk about that in a little bit what the release schedule for this looks like because that's interesting but for right now we are gonna watch this trailer together and we're gonna have fun so let's get started Today is the third day of our three-day road trip across the country. For our five-year anniversary. What a cool little town. I actually like this so much better. I love her hair now. color. I'll bet the people who live here are really happy. Tough crowd, right? Hi. Hi. Okay, creepy children. Do you hear that? Hear what? The silence. It's nice. Please ask if Tammy's home. Is Tamara here? Same thing. No. I think you have the wrong home. That was weird. Oh. Okay. Okay. Where am I looking? Here. Hi. I'm intrigued. That scared me a little bit. I was waiting for something in the window. Dang microphone. Look at you. Come over here. Yeah, I was waiting for something in the window and then that was there. That was fun. Okay, let's keep going. You are the messiest eater on the planet. Oh my gosh. Wait, where's the third? There's a th there. Oh. Here. 
All right. So, what did y'all think of the trailer? It looks scary, spooky. I hope this isn't one of those all the scary parts are the all the best parts are in the trailer. I really hope it's not one of those, but it's got me interested. Can't lie. All right, so this is the fun part, and this was this is something that could potentially change the way movies are released, the way movies are filmed, the way stories are written. So this is part of a saga, a three-part saga. The trailer we just watched was chapter one. There's also two and three. Here is the cool part. So chapters one, two, and three will all be released this year. This year. So last I heard, the last movie will be released around Halloween. I think that's amazing. But yeah, that's what's happening here is this movie, The Strangers Chapter One. So the director here is Rennie Harlan. Rennie Harlan is no stranger to slasher films. He did direct one of the Nightmare on Elm Street sequels, uh, four, I believe. And this is going to be closer to the first movie so he says he does not intend for this to be like a remake or a reboot i don't think you can es escape the whole reboot of it all i mean this is definitely a reboot this is the same story same premise you're you're even you know trying to match the tone of the first one you're rebooting this but you're doing this in a very different way with this chapter one chapter two chapter three and then giving it giving us all these movies in the same year that's fun that's interesting. I, that has me very excited. That's, I mean, if you do a good job and create a nice little base, a little audience fan base with that first movie and then give it to them too. I don't know. I don't know. What do y'all think? I think it's cool. I think it's pretty cool. Virtual film unknowns. I think that's a good way to go, especially if you're trying to remake a horror classic. I say classic to me, it's classic. Or reboot a horror franchise. Go with unknowns so we, we have no expectations. We at least remove some of the expectations. I'm much more interested than I was before. The trailer scared me a little bit. What it is about the this movie that just scares me so bad, it, well, number one, this is inspired by the Manson murders because a lot of those were home invasions and the idea of being caught and vulnerable and being attacked in your own home, a place where you're supposed to feel safe. I mean, the concept in and of itself is just terrifying. And then to turn it into a movie, I thought it was genius. It was great. Enough that I watched it one time and that was good enough and I don't need to see it again. But hey, that was fun. Let me know what you think, what you're looking forward to, if you're excited, and your thoughts on all the remakes, reboots, and that's pretty much the state of 2024. Until next time, see y'all.